There are new and horrifying details about an alleged hate crime involving an entire family accused of the attempted murder of a gay man. Tonight we're learning more about what police say about this crime and the relationship between the victim and the family. CBS Force Carly Barnett is in the studio with the details of this story. Carly. Well, Jim Elliott, in the arrest warrant, the victim, who was nearly killed and left blind, told deputies that he was ambushed by the family of his supposed boyfriend of nine months because they believed he turned their son gay. We want to note the 31 year old victim's name is not being released due to Marcy's law. The newly released arrest warrant says the victim told police he had been in a relationship with 21 year old suspect Oleg Makarenko and that his family came for him when they found out. The victim told police at the end of July 2021, Oleg said his parents had found out he was homosexual and quote, his father was now treating him poorly and not accepting him and his mother was forcing him to marry a woman. A few weeks later on August 6th, the victim told police he knew something was off because Oleg had asked for his address, even though the victim said he stayed there often and even had his own key. When the victim came to open the gate around 1 a.m., he says he saw Oleg and his family, which he recognized from photos. He says Oleg and Ina, his mother, watched him get beaten, and at one point the victim turned to her and said, quote, unfortunately your son is gay. The account goes on to say one of them grabbed an unknown object and struck him in the face, the victim stated. After falling to the floor, he pretended to be dead so they would believe he was dead and stop beating him. The arrest warrant says around 3 p.m., about 14 hours after the alleged attack, a BSO deputy was responding to an unrelated event at the residence when he noticed the victim's door open and him lying on the ground with blood surrounding him. At first, the victim said he had been drinking and fell, but then about six months later told investigators he got his memory back and wanted to press charges. The Makarenko's attorney, Mike Glasser, says, quote, we're supposed to receive substantial discovery tomorrow in advance of Monday's bond hearing. At this point, I remain steadfastly confident they had nothing whatsoever to do with the apparently awful injuries the gentleman sustained, end quote. Yevin, Ina, Olek, and Vladislav Makarenko are all charged with attempted murder, kidnapping, and battery. And the first three suspects have had hate crime charges added. Jim Elliott. Carly, thank you. In this footnote, Ina Makarenko has a bond hearing scheduled for Monday.